Hello and welcome to the group room where we're at the 34th annual CTRC AACR San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium. I'm very pleased to be joined now by Dr. Joan Mortimer, Director of Women's Cancers Programs, Professor in the Department of Medical Oncology and Experimental Therapeutics, the City of Hope Comprehensive Medical Center in Duarte, California. Dr. Mortimer, um, City of Hope does, I think, 60% of its research is actually generated at the City of Hope. It's not pharma-related. It's very innovative. You are a creator of a lot of your own research. Yes, that's, that's true, yes, Selma. And while I was recently there, I, I had the opportunity to speak to one of your neurosurgeons, and knowing that our focus this year for many of our activities uh, for our programming is centered on metastatic disease, uh, brain mets are of particular concern and um, difficult for women, unlike some of the other metastatic breast spreads, like to the bone, let's say, or even to the lung. And I understand at City of Hope that there is an active program where they are getting tissue, metastatic tissue, from the brain. And I was hoping you could talk a bit about this evolving program at the City of Hope. So brain metastases are, unfortunately, uh, a, a, a larger problem than I think most people appreciate is we keep women alive longer in breast cancer, lung cancer, patients in colon cancer, you're more likely to develop tumor spread to the brain. And none of our drugs, or very few of our drugs, actually penetrate in the brain. And so it turns out to be a sanctuary site. Those cells are up there, and if you live long enough, they become large enough to cause problems. And so at City of Hope, Dr. Jan Deal is one of our neurosurgeons who is studying not only cancers that start in the brain, but the more common problem, cancers that spread to the brain. And what is it about the environment of the brain that allows these cancers to either stay dormant for a period of time and then to become active? And so he's a very active program looking at, at uh, tissue specimens obtained from individuals who've had uh, brain metastases resected. I was so stunned by the number of 200,000 brain metastases a year compared to 10,000 newly diagnosed primary brain tumors, and that figure just stops you in your tracks. Yeah, it really does stop you in your track because it, it is a very, very, very common um, complication in, in, in individuals who live for very long periods of time. You know, looking at the breast cancer population, it's a somewhat unique group of women who do develop brain metastases, and Dr. Jandil is focusing on those individuals, women who have triple negative breast cancer, develop brain metastases uh, commonly. Um, it may be as, as high as 30% over their lifetime if they have recurrence of their disease. HER2 positive breast cancer patients are also at increased risk. It's very rare for someone whose tumor is estrogen receptor positive and HER2 negative to develop brain metastases. So there's something about the tumor and there's something about the environment and the brain that allows these cancer cells to grow and become apparent over time. Is it possible that once you have enough tissue collection that you might be able to then proceed with research on maybe drug development or it's such so challenging because of the blood-brain barrier in, in being able to give chemotherapy or adequately treat brain mets. So that the, the ability to get a drug into the brain is, is a really very challenging um, uh, a problem, but it's not totally insurmountable. There are some of the new HER2 drugs, lapatinib and neratinib, which is still in study, do actually cross the blood-brain barrier. Um, but at City of Hope, we actually have a stem cell program where we actually inject stem cells into to the tumors of patients who have a recurrence of a primary brain cancer came that started there. And then what these stem cells are engineered to do is to get drugs and convert them to active drugs within the brain so that we can actually treat the cancer within the brain without worrying about the blood-brain barrier. So there are very many uh, clever ideas in order to attack those cells once they're up there. Well, thank you. I just wanted to talk about that a bit. When we sat with a panel of advocates today that are living with metastatic disease, one of the uh, common concerns was exactly the issue of brain metastases, and I was very happy to be able to say that actually City of Hope is taken, has taken a keen interest in this area. Yes, thank you.